right, so the next rule we're going to talk about is called the power rule. And so if I had a number raised to a power and then raised to another power, well, the outside power tells me to take whatever's in the parentheses and multiply it by itself three times. So that gives me x to the sixth times x to the sixth times x to the sixth. All right. So then we can use our product rule, right? We've got the same base all here, and they're being multiplied together, right? So that tells me I take all of these guys and add them together. So 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18. Um, so how is 18 related to the 6 and the 3? Well, 18 is the same as 6 times 3. So that's exactly what we end up doing. We end up taking our 6 and multiplying it by itself 3 times. Right? 6 plus 6 plus 6 is the same thing as 6 times 3. So this is what we call the power rule for exponents. Um, and so this just says if we have any number raised to a power raised to another power, we multiply those powers together. And so a lot of times um, people ask me, well, how do you remember the difference between the pro what, or what is the difference between the product rule and the power rule? They look really similar. And how do I remember when to multiply the exponents and when to add the exponents? Well, what helps me remember it, for the power rule, I have a power raised to a power. So I'm only dealing with one base, right? I've only got one base number. With the product rule, I've got a, a, a base raised to a power times the same base raised to a power. So I've got multiple bases going on in here. Not multiple as in different kinds, but I've got it written down more than once. Um, and so that's how I remember when to add and when to multiply using the product rule. Um, what about if I had a fraction raised to a power? Well, it's a similar idea. Um, but we can use what it means to be an exponent to figure it out. So this tells me to take this fraction and whatever's inside here and multiply it by itself three times. So I have two-fifths times two-fifths times two-fifths which is the same thing as, right, remember how to multiply fractions just straight across. 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 to the third. And 5 times 5 times 5 is 5 to the third. And you can multiply them out and figure out what they are. But I want, I want you to look at how is this guy related to what we started with. Well, if you, if you look carefully, we took the 2 and we end up with the 2 raised to the third power and then we also end up with the 5 raised to the third power. And this is just because that's how we multiply fractions. So I'm going to multiply the numerator by itself three times and I end up multiplying the same denominator by itself three times. And so I end up with 2 to the third over 5 to the third. And so this is what your book calls it the power rule for fractions. Um, but it's really just another form of the power rule that says if I have a fraction raised to a power, it's the same thing as taking the numerator and raising it to that power and then taking the denominator and raising it to the same power. So that is another form of the power rule. Um, one other form of the power rule that you might, or something that's sometimes called the power rule, these are all different rules, but they all have to do with um, powers. Um, if you have two things raised, let's use, I don't know, four. We have a times b raised to the fourth power. So I've got a product raised to the power. So this tells me to take whatever's inside of here and raise it and multiply it by itself four times. Hopefully I have enough room on my board. Run out of space. So I've got A times B four times. But remember, multiplication is associative and commutative, which means we can multiply, move, this is all multiplication, which means we can move everything around and order it however we like. So 
So if I move all the A's, shuffle everything around so all the A's are multiplied together first, and then all the B's, I get A to the fourth power times B to the fourth power. Well, what did we do, right? Well, we just ended up raising each piece, each product, a piece of the product to that same power. So this is another, sometimes called the power rule, um, A times B to the N is the same thing as taking each piece inside of the product. Now this only works if it's a product. If there's a plus sign in there, no good, it doesn't work at all. But as long as it's multiplication, and that's simply because when we reorder this, we're using the fact that multiplication is commutative and associative. That's why it works. If these were plus signs in here, right, we'd have to use the distributive property, and then, and then maybe we could shuffle everything around using the commutative and associative properties of addition. But um, it's really important that it's multiplication between the things inside. Otherwise, this rule doesn't work. Only works for multiplication, not addition. So those are different types of what's sometimes called the power rule. Um, a power raised to a power, a fraction raised to a power, and what we call a product raised to a power. Math product means multiply. So things multiplied together raised to a power. So these are all different versions of, the, of power rules that you could use uh, to help you simplify expressions or do arithmetic.